Hello everyone, Dave the NC Picker here. Just finished work. It is a little after 7 p.m. And I just, I, I showed this on my Instagram stories. I'm trying to do more Instagram stories. But it was pretty funny because like I'm finished with work and I walk in here into the bathroom. This is the bathroom. And you know, I'm doing the thing you do in the bathroom and I look out my window and there's two people on my roof <laughs> at eye level with me. And uh, that's my dad and the termite guy, but I didn't realize they were on the roof, so I thought that was pretty funny, and then I'd share that awkward moment with you. Lucky they weren't closer or anything, but it was pretty humorous. Oh, I don't know why, but like, I sat in a bunch of meetings today, and now my back hurts, my lower back. I haven't had back pain in a while. I'm not a fan. I took some ibuprofen. Hopefully it goes away here soon. It's definitely going to make it difficult to pull my orders, because I have a bunch of eBay orders. <laughs> it's amazing what happens once you get to 700 listings, huh? People actually start buying stuff. I think I have six, maybe more, orders, so we're going to go downstairs, as we will do from time to time. We're going to pull some eBay orders. Very exciting. I got the silliest comment today on my channel. Someone wrote, and he said, um, total clickbait title, there's no way you list 300 items a day, because you only have 700 listings. And this was on my video where I titled it 300 listings in a day, where I literally did 300 listings in a day. Um... There were re-listings, but there were still listings. The guy's comment was, there's no way you do 300 listings a day. You only have 700 listings. <laughs> well, I didn't say in that video anywhere that I do 300 a day. I said I did 300 in that day. So anyways, and then he said, plus I looked at your sales and based on your COGS and your shipping and taxes, you're not making any money at all. And I'm like, well, how do you know my COGS? How do you know my shipping? First of all, I charge a customer shipping. I don't know, it's just funny. I, I did, I actually responded, and I said, hey, you win the most ridiculous comment of the year award. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks dangerous. Look at that. Electric panel's off. Yikes. So I, I'll tell you what I did. So I'm super busy, okay? You know, with the move and the, the job and the eBay and the YouTube and all the stuff I'm doing around the house, one of the projects has been to try to get this mini split installed for AC in the garage. But I just am having no time. So my dad was going to help me work on it. My dad's retired and he was going to help me work on it. And we keep trying to sync up and do it together. And we're never really able to make it work time wise. So I told him, I said, listen, I know you're retired. How about I just hire you to do the mini split for me and you can do it while I work. It was actually his idea more than my idea. Because I was saying, hey, I don't know when we're ever going to have time to do it. And he's like, well, I don't have a job, Dave. I can do it while you work. And I said, well, I'd want to pay you if that was the case. And he was open to it. So I'm actually going to pay my dad some money to go ahead and install that for me. Helps him out, helps me out. So it's a win-win. And he started working on it today while I was working. So that's cool. Um, excited about it being cooler in here. Because it's very hot and it limits my ability to list. Oh, how many sales do I have? Seven sales, guys. Seven sales today on eBay, and the first one is an FL31, and I forgot to put on my, what are they called? Contacts, in my contacts. So not only that, I've talked about how I want a shipping container. Oh, it's gonna be hard to pull these with my back hurting. Ugh, that's gonna be unpleasant, actually. Hold on, I think there's a ladder over here. Yeah, there is. Okay, so I've talked about how I wanna get a shipping container so that I can store a bunch of stuff off-site on a piece of property my dad has. And I know shipping containers are not ideal because they're not temperature controlled, but I could at least control their humidity with uh, you know, a dehumidifier or something like that. And I could just try to put things in there that can handle high heat. And there's a lot of things that are fine in heat. Well, mind you, there's some that aren't, so I'll have to be picky about what I put in there. But I like this, and I could even maybe put like a window AC unit. So I've been trying to figure out how to buy a storage, uh, storage container. Shipping container, that's what they're called. And actually, one of you on Instagram reached out and said that you had a friend who can help me get one. And sure enough, that seems to be going well so far. I talked to the guy today, and he can get me a shipping container delivered to where I want it delivered. Now, this is a lot of money versus what they cost a couple years ago, my dad says. But I'm going to tell you, he said $5,100 for a 40-foot high shipping container. What do you guys think on that price? Is that too much? Too little? I mean, it's, of course, not too little. <laughs> is it too much, though? 
Uh, it's a lot. My dad said he got his for closer to 3,000 three years ago, but he said that everywhere you look, price has gone way up. So he thinks it's a reasonable price. Just curious what you guys thought. Five grand. It's a lot of money. It's a big investment, but it would be nice to have all that storage space. I don't even know how many square feet they are, but they're a lot of square footage. It's like my dad has one for his stuff, and it's. I put all the stuff in my storage unit, which I think I had a 10 by 10, and it only took up like a third of his. So I think it'd be like three 10 by 10 storage units for five grand now to rent them. It seems like Florida storage units cost more than North Carolina because I did look them up. I was paying 115 or 120 a month in North Carolina. Here it looks like the same size, like 150 a month in Florida. So storage containers seem more pricey where I'm at. I sold this. It's a guidesman knife. This is kind of cool. It's uh, just like a little little pocket knife that I got at a yard sale and a big bundle of knives. And this went to a viewer actually, and a viewer who has his own YouTube channel. It's Daniel over at Liquidation Pros on YouTube. So definitely check out his channel, Liquidation Pros. Daniel, thank you for the order. I do appreciate that. And that was uh, $7 for that knife. So that's, you know, decent deal for a cool little knife with a case. It looks like my dad was enjoying maybe a shamrock shake because of St. Patty's Day. How fancy, happy St. Patty's Day. I should have had like corned beef and cabbage, but instead I had tacos. So, you know, same thing. Tacos, corned beef, cabbage. What am I? A Lone Ranger. Which one? I sold the Lone Ranger Collector's Edition DVD set out of FL20. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get listed today. I really should keep listing because it's the momentum is helping my store a lot. I think it's this one. 17 episodes. Are they the. Because I have two copies. Are they the exact same? Yeah, they're the exact same. So I sold one of these and it sold for. Uh, let's see, $10 plus shipping, so I have to squint a little because I don't have my contacts in. I forgot to put them in. That's all right, though. I uh, spent some time today trying to plan my trip to Las Vegas, sunny Las Vegas. And uh, so the office, like work, bought my trip out there and back because we have a trade show. But I extended the stay so that I'll be there a little after the trade show. I need to label these sides because I don't know. See, look, there's no labels over here, but this is where the ladder is. Here's Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa. How's it going? Okay. What do you think of the electric panel? I see you got it all in pieces. Yeah. Is it, is it a good electric panel? You see me going into the um, attic? I saw you going <laughs> while I was in a meeting. Sneak by me. Well, the pest guys apparently bumped the float switch and shut off your air conditioner. I was wondering why it was getting hot. Yeah. Did you figure it out? Yeah. Uh, I told him, I'm like, you know... Yeah, well, I saw you on the roof when I was urinating. <laughs> That's a bathroom. Recording? <laughs> okay, so, I'm back. Um, so, I sold this Dickens porcelain house, which... Maybe it was a viewer that bought it, because it seems like a weird time to buy a porcelain house. Uh, but that was for $10, sold it, and that was plus shipping, so not bad. And what did I pay for that? I don't know. I think I bought a huge box of them for like $10, and I think it had like 10 or $20, and I think it had like 10 of them in there. And I've already sold a bunch, so they're pure profit at this point. So, I'm saying so too much this episode. So, so, so. I am very excited to get AC in here because it is already hot again. And, you know, I was thinking about this. So people were saying, people say sometimes that I, sometimes people say I'm a complainer and I never stop complaining. And then other people say I always have a good attitude and never complain. So it is a little bit confusing as to which I am. I guess I'm just Dave. I'm missing a box. Where's FL11? Look, FL10, FL15. I don't see FL11. How do you lose a whole box? Huh. Oh, you know what? Maybe my dad pulled it down because he was trying to get to that shelf over there. Let's go take a look and see if we can find it. Anyways, the reason I say that... Oh yeah, here it is, here it is, on the ground. I sold those snaps, a bunch of those snaps. Three different orders, three different people, non-viewers, uh, for 30 bucks a piece. So the O snap sales are back, baby, 90 bucks today. <laughs> These are phone grips for a cell phone. Uh, they're they're um, end of life, so you can't really get them anywhere, except for my eBay store. So that's pretty cute. Cool. When they were end of lifing them, my uh, buddy sold me a bunch for really, really cheap because he didn't want the old stock. He wanted to move to the new brand. My buddy owns this company. So he wanted to move to the new brand, or the new the new stock, the new version. Get, got me those for really cheap, and I've been selling them as dead stock. So works out for both of us. Got them out of his hair, and yeah, helps me out. FL18, we sold something as well. 
So yeah, the reason I said that was, I was thinking, because I sat in meetings until 7 p.m. tonight at work. And I'm wondering, like, I've started doing stories. So you gotta follow my Instagram and watch my stories. Carrie says they're entertaining. I don't know. You guys gotta tell me. It's just basically me talking through my day. But a lot of my day is literally sitting there doing a day job at a desk. And uh, I sold this jacket. It's London Fog. And I sold it for $14.99 plus shipping. And so I've decided that maybe the reason I'm always so positive and upbeat about any eBay stuff is because of how down my day job gets and compared to it, this is great. <laughs> right? Grandpa's back. Howdy, Grandpa. Hi. Look at his shirt, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chihuahua. <laughs> uh, I sold that London Fog jacket for $15 plus shipping. I mean, this is cool, guys. It's cool to have seven orders. I haven't had seven orders in a day and a half in a long time, so it's really nice to have the store back to life. I went and I think my, my latest 30 day total is under $1,000 now for sales. Under $1,000 in sales in the last 30 days, which is crazy. Um, yeah, especially if I'm gonna be spending five grand on a uh, <laughs> shipping container. And I also just spent time today booking a trip to Vegas, like I was saying, because, okay, I didn't, I didn't have to pay for my own flight, but since I'm staying after the show, I had to buy a hotel for those days that I'm gonna be after. And then I also bought my wife a ticket so she could fly out and be with me when we do like a meet and greet. Uh, Cause we wanna do a meet and greet in Vegas. It's not gonna be a huge thing. Me and Carrie were talking about it today, maybe like Top Golf or something. <laughs> and uh, maybe just everyone meets at Top Golf and we all drive golf balls. Anyone who's in Vegas and wants to come. Definitely not a big thing, not a huge event, but you know, Saturday night, April 30th, I think is the plan or whatever, the last Saturday of April, we're thinking of doing it. Saturday morning, me and Carrie and Dawn and Tina, my dad's drilling holes in the wall, are planning on going, are planning on going yards, <laughs> are planning on going yard sailing. So all together, so that'll be fun. I sold this remote, this is for a kid's toy, a Fisher Price little like, uh, what are they called? King Kong? No, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. It seriously feels like I'm at the dentist with the drilling he's doing. He's like the dentist drilling into my tooth. That was actually all eight orders, uh, $210. So it's not like a huge money day, but still it is cool to see that many orders come through. Um, but yeah, as far as the whole Las Vegas thing, I'm trying to book a hotel for after the trade show. What do you guys think? What's a good hotel on the Vegas Strip? For those of you who have been there a lot, I've stayed at the MGM. And I think that's the only place I've actually stayed was at the MGM. So, ooh. So yeah, I'm um, not sure. MGM, I see it's my own dime. It's usually like on my work's dime. So, you know, money is no object, right? But now that it's on my own dime, I'm like looking for good price, good location, blah de blah de blah It seems like the Paris isn't bad. It's kind of central, not crazy expensive. Definitely not crazy cheap though. Kerry said he says it's Circus Circus. I have been to Circus Circus and it smelled a lot like vomit. So I don't know. And then I went and I was watching a YouTube video where it was like best and worst hotels in Vegas. And literally the worst one on that video was Circus Circus. I don't know if I want to do Circus Circus. I also talked to Kerry about doing a live stream on uh, the Trash to Cash podcast YouTube channel on Friday. So not this Friday, not the Friday that is today because this is launching on a Friday. Ooh, that light is really bright. Let me turn it down. It's for my meetings. I have it high so people can see me. Um, no, yeah, not this Friday, but the next Friday night, probably 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do it. A live stream on the Trash to Cash YouTube channel. Elijah's doing some sort of chore for his mom, filling up my, uh, my office here with junk. What is this, all Christmas stuff? Christmas stuff that's going in the attic, I guess. That'll be good with my hurting back right now. Luckily, the attic has an entrance right there that's not up a ladder. All right, so anyways, we're back. I uh, I don't know where what I was talking about. Tina called me. So, I mean, I think another short episode today, but at least we had seven sales. I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm hoping, I, I want to really get down there and list at least like 20, 30 items just to keep the eBay algorithm fed and happy. And I think that even if I did just like 20 minutes of listing, it'd be worthwhile. So I'm probably going to do that after I ship. I have to ship those orders. I have to edit this footage. And then hopefully I can get down there. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. See you next time.